Oh, man, you called me with no the tidies. He hits with the no look. He hits with the no look. Oh, man, get us going with your top five. Man, Sprinter. top five receiving duos. My yes. first is my first out. We got my first out, DeAndre Hopkins and Hollywood Brown. Oh, they did not make the cut, mainly because DeAndre Hopkins suspended for the first six games of the season. Yeah. But America, do not be surprised when DeAndre Hopkins shows back up with Hollywood Brown, the speedster, that that duo comes to the top of the list. Remember, Hollywood Brown, Kyler Murray, Oklahoma mm. together had a phenomenal stint there. Mm. But that's my first out. Okay. My Love five it. spot. Oh, you got it. So my last in, Devontae Smith. A.J. Brown, Philadelphia Eagles. I knew it. Now, I wanted to put him higher, but I loved what I believe it was. A.J. Brown even said this weekend on social media, hey, we're not an all-star team yet. Eagles running back Miles mm, Sanders said, already. I feel like I'm an all with an all-star team yeah, out there. He yeah. said, I got to earn my stripes. A.J. Brown said that. So the fifth best duo in ball, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. Remember, Devontae Smith won the Heisman at wide receiver at University of Alabama. Let's go. At four. How about Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen? Oh, I wanted yes. to put him higher. Yeah, I did, too. I Justin Jefferson, 3,000 receiving that. yards in these last couple that. seasons. I wanted to put him higher. Adam Thielen, though, sell. His He's hammy. Going. <laughs> His hammy. Right. He going down the list. Now, that's a cold man Adam Thielen is. And they out here doing this stuff with Kirk Cousins, who, as we know, Kirk Cousins is up and down and up and down mm. and up and down. Mm. At number three, top five receiving duos. That means all pass catchers are involved. Devontae Adams. Let's go. And Darren Waller. Yeah. Darren Waller, 250 yes. receptions, yes. 3,000 yards. The only player who has those stats over the last three seasons. Devontae Adams, he needs absolutely no explanation at all <laughs> whatsoever. Maybe the best receiver in football, <laughs> if not unequivocally the best receiver in football. At number two. Let's go. Cooper Cup and Allen Robinson. Ooh, some people go get mad. Cooper now, Cooper Cup is dragging Allen Robinson upwards to the heavens. <laughs> get him. Allen Robinson, 3,000 yard seasons over the course of his career. Mm -hmm. Cooper Cup won the Triple Crown last year. Most touchdown catches, most yards, most uh, receiving, most, yeah, most everything. <laughs> Anything that has to do with the ball. There's one more in there. He is one yards, more in there. Anything got to do with the ball. He won. Catch. Thank you, sir. I love it. And you. more than anything, MVP at the Super Bowl. Come on. And number one, we got Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. I know you're gonna be mad at me for this. Why am are. I gonna be mad? Because you're mad at you yourself for saying. I know you're gonna be mad at me for <laughs> this. Put it on me. What? They're the best on the list, oh, and they're the youngest on the list. I'm looking at my car. Say that one more. Keep it. They're the best on the list, <laughs> and they're the youngest on the list. Oh, you stop. Jamar Chase, oh, 1,455 yards, rookie of the year mm. last year. Mm. Had a couple 200-yard games at wide receiver. Oh. He Higgins, 74 catches, 1,000 yards. When you talk about mm. dominance, when you talk about youth, and they got the quarterback sure to right. help, help them excel, ooh, ooh. golly. That top five list. It's going to be hard to beat this. It's going to be hard to beat? It's going to be hard to beat. Oh, I like hard things. All right, it's beat it time. <laughs> that is a nice list, but here's my top five first out. I agree with you. DeAndre Hopkins, Marquise Brown. Talking about the... They didn't make it either. Mm -mm, first, I'm with you, big dog. Kids were spirits in a lot of ways, brother. Think about this relationship at the receiver position. One thing I know from all those passing camps and all those seven-on-sevens in the elite camps when the receivers and the quarterbacks get together, that chemistry, that relationship means a lot. And you talk about their relationship going back to college and now tremendous talents on their team, they're going to be first out. But they didn't make the list. Let's start with number five. Devontae Adams, Darren Waller. I heard you, big dog, when you said it. I like you it. You got a little high for me because now that relationship from college with Devontae Adams and that, your, that, Derek Carr, that. we got to reestablish that this year. And this ain't college anymore. But Darren Waller, if you can stay healthy, we know how tremendous that he is a walking muscle. He is a walking beast. But he needs to stay on the field because tremendous production when he's there. Let's go to my number four, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, you, you you gave me the look of like, mm, mm, I don't like how that tastes. I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know why we talk about their production. You talk about Tom Brady coming back in that fold. And this production, a couple years ago, Super Bowl champions mm -hmm. right here. Very productive, talking about their alliance, their chemistry, and working together. Watch these guys go out there and get their numbers once again. Number three. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. Ah, ah see? I know you, you're built to resist. You're built to fight me. But I'm just coming in for the hug, big dog. I respect this relationship because Jalen Hurts already has hit the ground running. And I mean literally running in the NFL. But now he is going to have these playmakers on the outside. Look at that. Oh, that arm talent of Jalen Hurst is going to be on full display. And I have confidence that he could get those guys the ball and be very productive. Number two, let's go back to Las Vegas. First of all, who needs to hear that and say, no, <laughs> we all hear that. We say, yes, Devontae Adams, 
I don't believe you didn't put them up there. Hunter Renfro. I had to choose. I, I, you I ain't had, had to choose. choose. Had to you had to just put them both up there like I did. Look at this. Number five and number two. Devonta Adams is that special, yeah, but Hunter is. Renfro. Nice. Talking about being a beast on the field, being in the right position, all of that talent and ability he has, and clutch. Has he ever dropped the ball? Like, I'm just going to ask anybody. Did he ever drop the ball? Hunter Renfro. And now, oh my God, Adams, they're going to beast out. Number one, I can't believe you didn't respect where you from, where you at. L.A. Chargers, brother. Keenan Allen, no, Mike now Williams. Doing too much. Oh, oh, really? Now you're doing too much. Oh, oh, oh just the, now you're doing too just much. the only group, uh, up there, I saw 1,000 yards plus from both of those receivers. Matter of fact, the Chargers had three guys uh -huh. over 1,000 yards. And you talk about the best quarterback potentially in football and Justin Herbert. Look at this duo right here. You can't argue their production. They had the highest tandem production last year of all of the groups. So it's no bias, bro. It's just me out there okay. speaking these facts. Let me talk, start with a couple things. Let's go. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. I got so many doubts about them. Here's Let's hear. why. Let's hear. We've never seen them with Tom Brady without the help. Mm. Like, remember, Mike that Evans helped. and Chris Godwin existed in Tampa. Yeah. Tom Brady showed up, but who did he bring? He said, you know what, Mike Evans, though you might be a future Hall of Famer and Chris Godwin, you're a dude, I still need Rob Gronkowski here, please. Yeah, oh, wait yeah, a second. Of course. Not only do I still need Rob Gronkowski, I need Rob Gronkowski and the headache that is Antonio Brown. <laughs> so if this duo was really all that, and if this duo was doing that much, uh -uh. then I don't think that so much help would be imperative, not to mention Chris Godwin, unfortunately, has not been able to stay healthy. Stay healthy, so right. So I have big issue with them at number four. I'm hearing. I have a bigger issue with your one spot. I like Keenan Allen. I like Mike Williams. But in no way, in no football field, on no team, is Keenan Allen and Mike Williams a better duo than Jamar Chase and Tate. I mean, by production, no they're the same, actually. You talk about two 1,000-plus receivers on both teams. They're the same. So they're number one for me because, one, you talk about their size difference. There's a huge size difference. Production the same, size difference. Which quarterback is better? Like, we really can go back and forth on this one, but Joe Burrow versus Justin Herbert. I'm taking Herbert. You're taking Burrow. I get that. You say Chase Higgins, they've done it, but how long have they done it? Mike Williams? Je Keenan Allen, been doing this and will continue to do this because Justin Herbert is not going anywhere. What you got? I hear you. Yeah. I still don't yeah. like it. My last yeah. thing, and mind yeah. you, you know I rock with my Eagles. Me too. Way too high. Way too high? Way too high. Why? Like, I, I forced it putting oh, them at five. Why. Say I his name, it putting them at five. Say his name. It's not even Jalen Hurts. Oh, it's I It's not even it. a Jalen Hurts thing. Okay. For me, it is a, don't you got to earn your stripes in the league? Like, you didn't earn start until, what, your third year, you told me? Maybe yeah, third, third or fourth, fourth year. year. Like, you have to straight up earn it in the league. Mm. They have to earn a top three receiving duo uh, in my So record. why is your because number the, one with Chase and Higgins? They have it. Stripes? I heard stripe. Stripes uh, with Devon, an S Devontae Smith end? only had 976 last year, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Jamar Chase, also a rookie, had 1,400 last year. Mm -hmm. So to me, Jamar Chase has earned it. If you give me 1,500 yards as a rookie, oh, that's yeah. earned. Oh, yeah, Devontae Smith, after one season, though a great season, 970 yards plus uh, A.J. Brown, 900. Thousand yeah, yards yeah. to put them at your third best receiver. Well, well, you got to understand they weren't together doing that. So now you get them together, and then you get Jalen Hurts and his emergence. He took that team to the playoffs last year, basically running the football because he didn't have the complementary receivers he needed. Now he has them together, and his evolving. One question: His evolution is going to be different. One question: Let's see. DeAndre Hopkins with no suspension. Where do you have them at? After if suspension, if there's no games, suspension, oh, no suspension. I think I, I would have them top two receiving duo. <laughs> Hollywood Brown has to back it up. He's in that position once again where we talk about, okay, tremendous success. What you going to do to back that up? And that's the hardest thing to do in the NFL. People think to pop in the NFL is the hardest until you pop. Now you got to back up that pop year with what you're going to do differently. What's your plan B in terms of getting back to that mountaintop?